everyone, it's Tiffany. I am here with the Miniverse Make It Mini Botanicals Farm to Table Pack. It says flowers, farm, and plants. There are 60 plus pieces inside. This is my kind of set. <laughs> so we have pots up here. We have bouquets of flowers here and filler. We've got more uh, like vases over here. We've got like the farm stuff here. So there's strawberries, there's carrots, there's like dirt in a box to plant them in. We've got our plants here and we've got potting soil, sandy soil, pebble soil. We got, got some twine and we have water, of course. I am beyond excited for this pack. This is so exciting. <laughs> I love plants, but let me turn it around for you and we'll see some of the examples on the back that we can make. We can literally make whatever we want. We can make a big giant flower arrangement. We can do whatever. You can see like the strawberries. Technically we could put them in the dirt, but that's not how strawberries grow. So I'll probably put the carrots in the dirt there and do like little strawberries there. Look at these. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. So let's go ahead. I'm going to get this open and we'll check everything out and start making it. All right, I have everything scattered, but surprisingly I didn't see a recipe card. I think it's just pretty much do whatever you want because we did get this, but I didn't see a recipe booklet at all. Is it bad that I don't even want to make any arrangements with these flowers because I just love them being wrapped up in little bouquets. <laughs> They're so cute. I'm obsessed. But anyway, here are all of our flowers set them there. We have all of our potting mix and our pebbles and everything. We've got all of the plants and cacti here and we've got all the vases. Actually, there's more vases. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, we've got all the vases here and we've got the pots and then we've got like the little mason jars and stuff for the strawberries. Uh, we have the water and we have this thing, <laughs> a little tray, we have the twine, we have the shovel. I don't know, we're just gonna go for it. We're gonna see what happens. So I would like to maybe fill up most of these vases and the pots. I need to figure out what we have though. It's a little overwhelming without like a recipe guide, but also awesome because you know you get to be creative in whatever way you need to be. So we have two, three potting mixes, one sandy mix and one pebble mix. Now, I kind of want to use one of the soils for the carrots, so we'll use this box here. So I would like to use, actually, is that soil in there already? I can't tell. <laughs> it looks like there's soil in there already, but I'm not sure. Uh, but if it's not, I'll use this and, and make a garden box. But what should we do first? Maybe we will make the, let's make these first, the, um, the little arrangements. I feel like that'll be very doable. So I want to make this one. This one's gorgeous. I think this is, this is very specific. So what I'm going to do, and by specific, I mean like, I don't, I would probably put it with birds of paradise, but I wouldn't put it with the other ones because they're not as tropical. So I'll probably use these in this one. Also, how the heck am I supposed to pour resin into this thing? Um, but this is probably what I'll do. And then we've got these roses are stunning. Do I want, how many, we have two, four, five, and then we have three jars. So we kind of have to pick and choose. I know I don't, I can mix and everything and I, I just, I don't, I don't know. Uh, I'm thinking we'll use like the baby's breath with one of the roses. Um, which one would it go with? This one has some eucalyptus in it. We do love that. I feel like we should put these together for sure. Let's use these two together and we can put them in this yellow jar. I feel like that, that makes sense. Well, I don't know. Maybe they should go in the big vase though. There's this one. I feel like this is definitely very fancy. Also, you can cut them down and uh, make them like a little shorter, which I might also do. <laughs> Uh, depending because I don't know I feel like I want to put them in this big one but also it's so small like the opening it has to be more of like a single thing so let's do I kind of want to cut them down just a tiny bit um, probably not the eucalyptus though because the stem isn't very long this could get cut down just a tiny bit like this oh Ooh, I think I might cut it too big 
too short, I mean, but it looks good. And then we have all of these little buttons and I will cut them down. They're already different sizes though. Okay, I think I got it all figured out how I wanted it and I cut everything down. So I do have my little light over here. Let me get it on. I used, um, I didn't use these bottles of resin because I didn't have like a little squeezy tip. I used this one I already have uh, so that I can get it in the jar properly. So I'm just gonna use that. I didn't fill it up all the way either. Um, so I'm going to fill this one up I actually feel like I need to just take these out <laughs> and then fill it up. All right, cool, 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 cool. Let's go maybe like halfway on that. And then we're gonna put this back in there and then this and then this you can cross like that. I like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and cure that. And then let's see. I need to fill this one up a little bit more than one I was just working on. Sorry, I'm trying to get my light positioned over here. Uh, the the little uh, rose thing, I can't quite see. I think the water level, the, the resin level, I should say, isn't quite where it needs to be. Let me just get one more squirt in there and then I'll let that settle a little bit before I cure that. Okay. So, <laughs> I think I can get rid of these papers here. I have quite a few of them. All right, we have a couple more. We have one, two more vases, sorry. Uh, we have the Birds of Paradise, we have the roses, and we have the baby's breath. So I'm thinking we do the baby's breath and the roses, and then the Birds of Paradise kind of by themselves, perhaps. I am thinking, should we do... Oh, wait, we have a little, little leaf. Oh my gosh, I love that. I just don't know which vase we're gonna use for what because these are quite tall, the Birds of Paradise. But we could definitely, since we went tropical for the other ball, like the other ball vase, we could definitely do that with this one and then make these two go in here. And we'll just cut them down a little bit shorter. I think I like that idea. So I'm just gonna cut them a tiny bit. That's actually quite a bit, but it's fine. And then we're gonna cut the baby's breath as well, just to make sure that we have that all good. Actually, I'm gonna put in the resin first this time. <laughs> that way I don't have to do it after. All right, so we got the resin in, whoop, dropping things. And I think I'll just put the baby's breath in like so, right? Oh gosh, getting it to stand is gonna be really hard. I might have to like hold this one while we get it to cure. Um, I'm gonna stick our rose in here. Uh oh, the leaf on the rose is not gonna be working with us today. Hold on. Let me uh, try to get this in here a different way. Could definitely do that. And then over here, kinda want this in the middle though. Can I squeeze it in the middle like this? Honestly, that's probably going to be our best bet. I'm going to hold this while I cure it though because <laughs> otherwise we're going to it's going to it's going to be a fail. Okay, I am going to cure this one. The other one's still curing. Um I'm just <laughs> getting it all lined up over here. This one's pretty much done. So I will this is this is her, by the way. She's amazing. I love her. I have so many things everywhere. I need to get organized. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, so let's get, what other plant was there? There's the birds of paradise, this one. Okay, so we're going to pour some resin in here. Great, perfect. And then I'm probably gonna cut these down as well, <laughs> just because I might leave the leaf taller. Let's, let's at least cut it down a tiny bit. I say a tiny bit and I take a whole bunch off. All right, uh, but something like this, and then we can do the leaf in the middle, like that. I don't know, I like it. I'm gonna go with it, and we're gonna we're gonna cure it like that. Sure. <laughs> all right, that's all of the plants now, or sorry, all of the flower bouquets. Now we do have, um, let's see, we have this, like that was in the vase section, but I think we'll use that more for some of the plants, like this guy. Like that would be really cute, right? I think that'd be cute. 
So let's do the veggies first because I think the plants are going to be like a huge, huge task. Um, we do have the strawberries and I don't think I really want to do much with them. I mean, we could put them in the jar, but I think I'm just going to leave them without putting them in the jar. I don't think it's a huge deal. I do want to open the carrots though and see what we can do with those. Um, let's see. Because I kind of like the strawberries like they are in this crate already. I don't know. Maybe that's just me, but I quite like it. All right, let me see. I need to find out if this is actual soil. No, this is just fake soil. Okay. Well, now I don't know what to do because I kind of want to... Do I want to make like a carrot patch? I kind of think I might want to. Like, why not? So, let me take all these carrots out of here. This is going to be fun. This is going to be fun. Trust me. I don't know which container I want to use. I don't think I'll use this one with the, the dirt thing in it. I think I'll use, well, no, maybe I should use the bigger one. Are they deeper? It's not really deeper. All right. So we're going to open up the potting mix. This is going to be so fun. All right. And then once I get this in here, I'm going to kind of smoosh it down. But not too much because I do need to stick carrots in there. I also hope I have enough potting mix to go around for everything. But I do have the three bags, so it should be fine, right? Alright, I just want to make sure I get it in the corners. Uh, and like just kind of mostly evenly spread out. Okay? So there's that, right? I know it's kind of hard to see. But the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take a little bit of resin. And I'm just going to kind of like squirt it out in there right and I am going to grab a toothpick just so I can spread it up a little bit more so it kind of looks like wet soil um and we're gonna probably well you'll see you'll see just just stay tuned all right we'll probably put some more in honestly um when it's all said and done I don't know where to put this I guess I'll put it in the bag over here okay so what I'm thinking is we <laughs> okay this might not work out this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna cut I know I know I'm gonna cut the carrot cut the carrot right so that we can put it in there like that I don't know I think that's cute <laughs> kind of sad though but you know what let's let's maybe do this so it'll be like mid harvest kind of carrots right so we'll put some in here in the soil Okay, and then we'll have like one lay across the top or something. I think that would be cute. All right, let's put that in there. Oh, look at that. I think it's cool. And then if we did something like this, I don't know, is that, is that kind of too much? I don't know. Do I like it? <laughs> Oops. I'm trying to be like. I don't know. I think I kind of like that. So we'll go with this. That won't stay. Um, I'll probably have to glue that unless, unless we go ahead and do a little bit of resin in there. Oh, I got some on the floor, on the ground. So I definitely got to get that fixed. I'm going to cure that and wipe up our mess. Okay. So the birds of paradise is set. It's a little wiggly just at the top because it's top, top heavy. We have, oh, hold on. I got to get the rose. The one rose arrangement. Look at that. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. <laughs> and then the other rose is still curing and the carrots are still curing. So we'll wait to reveal those. I mean, you can kind of see them in the corner. We don't need this. We don't need this. I don't think we need the jars. I don't think we need the twine. I'm not really exactly sure what the twine's for. Um, we have this small pot. Honestly, there was another small pot here, but I don't know where it is now. It's actually gone because there were two small pots that went on here. Maybe it rolled off my table. Oh, I see it. I see it. It had fallen off of my table, but we're good. We're good. Okay, so there's these two pots. And where are the, these little guys? These are what we can put in there. Like that, maybe. Or I'm trying to think. We do have this mason jar that we can put one of the pothos in. So we got this pothos, right? I could either put this in, 
could cut it, right? I could put one in one and one in another, you know? But I really am kind of set on doing this. Whatever this is. <laughs> I think I will, like, pre-mix some, some resin and soil. Put it in there. That's going to be so difficult, though, I think. Maybe I will just put soil in there, put resin on top. Um... <laughs> The little extra crate, which I should have used this one for the carrots, is actually for cacti. Uh, I'm just, I'm just kind of like trying to figure out what I'm going to do. All right, so we could do this cactus in here. Let's go ahead and put this rest of the soil. Are we supposed to use the soil? Or this should be the sandy mix. Um, Uh-oh. Let's see. Wait. <laughs> Wait. I guess I'll put this in these pots. Well, no, no, no. No, we'll just go ahead and put it in this thing here, right? And then if we can, I'll kind of like dig a little hole, right? And we're going to put our plant in here. So this one, like I said, will probably be the most difficult to get to set just because it is going to try to move a lot. And I want to get, I want to get it perfect. Um, I could try to tape it as well. Hmm. <laughs> What I could do also is it doesn't need to set upright, so I could set it in there and put the soil on top. I just don't want to put resin on my finger, you know? Because <laughs> I can do another row of resin. That's not a huge deal. Because I think this is kind of what I want to do. And then we will put a dollop back there. How about that? And I'll just be very careful with that and Hopefully it'll cure. <laughs> Hopefully. All right, let's see if that'll work. So I really only need that top bit to cure. Um, so oh, we do have this pot. This pot, I think we'll do big cacti. We have this little guy. We have these little guys too. I could definitely do, I don't wanna do those in pots though. This is just a lot. I'm really happy with my arrangement so far though. All right, let's see. Okay, it's staying. It's staying. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> it's not staying. But we're on the right track. It kind of helped, right? So now I'll go ahead and add in more resin. And then we will get that toothpick back out. And kind of spread out this uh, water. <laughs> it's just a very hydrated plant. Okay, right, right, right. And then I will go ahead and cure the rest of it. Oh, this is totally gonna work out. I'm very excited about this. All right, so I do need to get the cactus mixes. We have the sandy and the pebble. I guess I'll go sandy for these guys. I still am just not sure. I guess I'll do regular soil for these. I need to just... Oh gosh, I need to set this down. <laughs> can I set it on this? Actually, yes, I can. All right, let's do that. So, since I'm going to put regular soil in there, I'll wait on those. We'll go ahead and open up the sandy soil. And, like, normally you wouldn't, per instructions for, like, the past series we've seen with the botanicals, we don't exactly put resin on the soil and all of that stuff. It's usually just kind of like whatever, but I like to do that so it stays in place. Uh, so I don't know, I just like to do that. All right, let's get this cactus planted. Honestly, I don't know though. Like <laughs> This one doesn't seem to have enough sand, but I'm gonna kind of push it down with my toothpick and see where we stand, and then I'll put some resin there, and we'll be good. All right. Ugh. I like to let these ones soak in since I don't have to hold them. <laughs> we'll just let that soak in a little bit. Could also tease it a little bit with my uh, toothpick, just to make sure it like gets to the sides because you want it. You don't want it to be too deep where it can't cure with the light, but you want it to be able to attach to the sides, you know? All right, so I'm gonna put that back there. 
So what else do we have? We have so much stuff still. I guess we have this, this pot, which is on the picture. It's used with this, with the um, pebble mix. So we'll go ahead and do that, I guess. Because why not? Honestly, I might save some of this for my pothos over there. Let me put a little pile there. All right. So do I want to, I'm going to actually kind of position it around this guy first and then we'll stuff him in. <laughs> yes. And then let's get our toothpick out and kind of get that all put together. And then of course we will put some resin on top. Yes. Very carefully though, because it is unstable because it is the pebbles. Let me see if I can get a little bit more in there. So this one definitely looks super watered. <laughs> we get this and then maybe we can bring some over to the side here. Could use some more pebbles, but since I'm saving some for the pot, those it's too bad. We cannot, cannot sacrifice those. All right, so I'll put this over here. And I'm going to swap out the pothos with that. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to throw, I'll just do some of it for now. I think this is going to look so cute. Okay. We didn't need all that much, I guess, but let me get some more rocks in here. I wonder if I could, I don't think I could fit any of these other plants in there. Maybe. Hmm. Well, maybe hold on, hold on. Let's see. I'm going to, Go ahead and put that in. And then there's like a little corner in the back that needs a couple rocks. Look at me getting all artsy over here. All right, I think that's good. And I don't know how it's all gonna hold, so it's not piling on, but I was thinking we could do this. But I think I'm gonna leave it as is. And we'll, of course, add on some resin and kind of smoosh it together. How big is it a little character or something some layers some depth some some everything right all right got that i'm gonna put that there and then i'm gonna scoot that back over to cure we have like a whole lineup of things to cure over there so we have these two pots left these are our only two pots i'm gonna just use should i use them for the cactuses i feel like i might want to because they match, but these also match. But the thing is they don't sit very well together. I mean, they could, but I don't know. Let's go ahead and use these, I guess. All right, so we have our potting mix. I'm gonna cut that open and I am going to squeeze out some potting mix here and I'll definitely get some around here. And I don't know if all of this is gonna fit in here. <laughs> I think I have too much potting mix. Hold on. We gotta we gotta get some of that out of there. I need to get my toothpick as well. Toothpicks really help with all of this. <laughs> Might I add? It's very beneficial. Alright, it's a little offset, a little crooked, but I'm trying to like smoosh it down in there. Make it make it work. All right, better. And then let me throw in some more dirt. Well, we want to get our plant in there though too. Hold on, hold on. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> this is a little messy because it's, it's just so small, the pot, and I want to make sure I get the right amount of dirt in there. All right, let's try this. Okay, you know what? I know a lot of people just stuff it in there, which also works, but also <laughs> I'm trying to make sure it's like really packed and I don't want to have to come back and put more in there. All right. That looks good, right? See, it's so loose. <laughs> oh no. All right. Let's get a little bit more dirt. Oh my gosh. So stressful. Should I just go with that? I'm just going to go with that. I'm going to put a little bit of resin in there so it looks nice and watered. Okay. And we're going to get the toothpick back just to kind of smish it down a little bit. All right. That looks good. You've seen our lovely arrangements. I do have, oh no, I have the new rose one that we haven't taken a look at yet. It's so stunning. I just love these. Oops. 
and we'll put that right in there and then we've got our cactus we've got our other cactus we have the official Pothos project. This one, okay, this isn't focusing. This one was, this was a labor of love. <laughs> no, it ended up looking really stunning. And we'll use the twine there and I'll probably use it as like an ornament somewhere. But oh my gosh, I just love these leaves. All right, I'm gonna actually use this to just stand it up because it deserves a stand. And then we have the carrots, but these carrots are not cured onto, oh my gosh, the focusing, not cured on. I do need to glue them. They're kind of cured on, but I'm gonna secure them more with glue. It really doesn't want to focus on our carrots. <laughs> but I really did love the idea of cutting these, so I probably would do that again. Lastly, we have these guys. Um, let me get the tray. I could set them on there. This one ended up sliding over to the side, but that's fine. If I'm gonna set them together, it's whatever. Um, is there anything I'm missing? I think, well, we have the other one that is kind of still curing, but he's fine. <laughs> he's actually, he turned out a little bit better. So we'll go ahead and put them together. Like, look at all of these beauties. I'm so excited for them. Um, I have all of the cacti left but i'm just gonna keep them off to the side but this is everything these are all of our creations you'll have to let me know your favorite in the comments below the bouquets and arrangements were some of my favorites but honestly this pothos is just amazing <laughs> i love it but let me know your favorite in the comments below i want to thank you guys so much for watching be sure to subscribe and i will see you next time